Hello everyone, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and I'm back today you guys with another video, another success story and this is a client of mine who manifested a bunch of money. So I'm going to be going into how your thoughts are things, how your thoughts create, what your mental diet is and then how you create your experience about anyone and anything and how you can use these principles to manifest anything you want in your life because money is just energy and money is the same as a specific person all right before i get started thank you for liking commenting sharing and subscribing please hit the bell icon in the box below and you get notified every time we post new videos so you guys today my nails are still a nude color i'm filming my video a little bit earlier um so my nails this week are actually being done tomorrow so sorry about that but it's a surprise because i'm going on a trip all right so Back to this client and back to this success story. Um, this client, before she began coaching and before she was really understanding how her thoughts created, she was doing a lot of things, visualizing, scripting, meditating, affirming, changing thoughts, focusing on thoughts, watching YouTube videos, watching meditations, watching TikTok, watching Instagram. She was doing lots of things and I'm finding that because of the information that all of us are privy to or that are options in our phones and on our laptops that everyone's kind of overloading themselves with information, techniques, ways of doing the mental diet and then ways of creating their reality. So I want to remind everybody to keep it simple. Just like this client did, you can focus on a group of affirmations or a mantra. I'm actually going to include the, um, the affirmations that she used because they're in her success story. And you can use these principles to apply to anything in your life because a reminder that money is energy. Money is like an SP. The money in your life is like this bottle. That's let's say it's filled with water, right? Let's imagine that this bottle was all the way filled with water to the top and that those were thoughts about any given part of your reality. So think that this bottle, handy that it's here today, is that like it represents an SP. It represents money. It represents career. And that you want to fill that area of life with thoughts. Like think that you want... You want to fill this with water, like up to, let's say, like here, with thoughts of positivity, thoughts of what you want, the mental diet of creating the reality of the career, of money, of the relationship, of the SP that you truly desire, that you truly deserve. And then that's what shows up in your physical reality. Okay? So let's keep it simple. Um, if you're having fun watching TikTok, watching YouTube, doing meditations, doing all these things that we're privy to and we know that are options in the manifestational world and communities, then please do so if it's fun. If it's adding to your life, if it's adding to your journey, if you're feeling empowered, if it's giving you new information and you're enjoying it, then please keep going. If you're feeling overloaded, then I always say stop. Get back to yourself, focus on yourself, focusing on your thoughts about your self-concept and getting back to a place of in resonance with you because you're the, the, you're the component to everything. You're the common denominator to career, to money, to specific person, relationships, and everything having to do with your reality. So like this client, you can go from having a lot of information to narrowing it down. And through coaching, we made that happen. All right. So just to go into a little bit of this success story. Prior to January of this year, 2021, I was always struggling with keeping money in my bank account. And it was an issue that haunted me. It was odd. No matter how much money I made in my career, even after working my way up to a director role, somehow money was always leaving my bank account as soon as it came in. It seemed like some huge event or a bunch of small ones that added into huge financial impact would happen to take all my earnings away. Literally, my savings tiered from 25 to 200. LOL. I need you to know how much I was struggling. When I first started my manifestation journey in January 2021, I focused on manifesting money and I did EFT tapping, rituals, water rituals, money meditations, visualizations, etc. Dot, dot, dot. On top of my normal affirmations and intentions, there were so many techniques and rituals that I was soaking up. Fast forward to coming across Create Your Future. And then she was part of our um, Facebook group that she heard something that totally resonated with her, that money is energy. Heard that with all of the amazing things I had learned from these wonderful coaches. I gained back my inner knowingness that manifesting doesn't need to be hard, robotic, nor filled with rituals that quite honestly can add to your anxiety. Like if you miss a date of the water ritual, ritual you're screwed. <laughs> Time is an illusion as well, so no one outside of you can tell you how long or how often you need to do something, let alone that you need to do anything. No one can dictate that and say, if you don't, it won't work. 
I am an avid believer that if a technique feels good to you, that's great. Keep doing it, like I mentioned. And coaching can help align what techniques work best for you for your personal learning and manifesting style, of course. But for me personally, dropping all of those rituals and techniques really felt freeing and powerful. I brought back to me, it was brought back to me as the creator that I don't need to do a dang thing because it's already mine. So I just stuck with my easy peasy intentions that I've been telling myself since mid-February. I'm going to go back to the intentions. Um, she also wanted to say that she feels like saying easily and effortlessly is so powerful because it's like telling your mind a confirmation that, hey, we don't need to worry about how it's going to come. It just is. And you won't even be through difficult circumstances. It's bound to be easy and everything will be perfectly fine. Okay. So now to the success story. Um, since February, 2021, I've been able to save $15,300. This is including a readjustment on my taxes. I just got sent a check for an additional refund of $1,600. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. I never intend around specific money matters because I realized for my personal breaking my situation into smaller buckets or instances and trying to recreate the past or see what's working versus what's not working can bring me anxiety due to the overthinking and spending energy in the wrong area. So I stay general, easy, and kind to myself. Sometimes I might let my hair down even more and intend 100000 is in my bank account easily and effortlessly right now. It's already mine. But typically, it's just the general affirmations that I shared earlier, which I'll go into now. So you guys grab your pen, grab your paper, because here they are. So first intention is money always comes to me, into my life, and into my bank account easily and effortlessly. Money loves me, and I love money. Money and I have an amazing relationship. I love that I don't have to do anything. I don't have to lift a finger, and money is constantly coming to me easily and effortlessly. It feels amazing. I am a magnet for money. All right, you guys. So that's it for the success story, and those are her intentions. So remember the principle, though, that I talked about a second ago. It's as if... This jar or this vase or this bottle was empty and she filled the bottle in terms of her concept about money with thought after thought, intention after intention of what she wanted about what she wanted money to do for her and how she wanted money to show up in her reality. So then just like everything else, it was within her and then it came outside of her in her 3D experience. So the other thing to keep in mind is please keep it simple. This client went from having all these things to do, right? All of these ritualistic ideas about manifesting to just deciding she was going to use her mental diet, use her thoughts because her thoughts are things, knowing that the thoughts go from the front of her mind to the back of her brain into her reality and also into her subconscious mind and that her subconscious mind creates her reality on her behalf. So she knew this, you guys. She used it to her advantage. She got what she wanted. She totally turned the story around and now she has saved $15,300. So moral of the story is focus on thoughts you want about money if you're manifesting money. Focus your thoughts that you want about career on career if you're focusing on career. If it's an SP, if it's love, then please focus thoughts on the SP and your self-concept and the love thing in general. I like to call it the relationship dynamic of what you want to get what you want. All right, you guys, that's my video for today. And one more time, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit that bell icon in the box below. And also, I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.